everyone, I'm Holly. I'm a singer, songwriter and producer. I make electronic alternative pop kind of folk music under the artist name Iora. Today we're going to be looking at storytelling and our, using our voices to get across our opinions and our protest, just like the suffragists did, either through collecting signatures for petitions or finding peaceful ways to get themselves heard. Today I want us to start off by looking at our voices and what that means, how we communicate, um, and how the suffragist movement and the suffragettes movement enabled us to have this voice to speak out our opinions and to tell stories. So for one minute I want you to think of all the ways that we use our voice today in today's society. That might be spoken, it might be written, it might be using images. So just all the ways that we use our voice and we share our opinions today. One minute on the clock. So it would be great now if you could pause the video and share any of those thoughts or reflections that you came up with over that last minute. Next we're going to be looking a little bit at persuasion. So I want you to think of one thing that you would change in today's society. It can be as big or as small as you like. It could be around women's rights. It could be around equality, it could be about climate change, or anything in between. Anything that you're passionate about and that you would like to change. Once you've thought of that, get into pairs or threes, and each of you will have 30 seconds to persuade the people in your group or in your pair why it's such an important issue and why things need to change. Great, feel free to pause the video and have a go at that. So I hope that was fun and that you're all now ready and motivated to go out and make the world a better place. So now we're going to be looking a little bit more at constructing our songs and forming those narratives. Music and lyrics have always been a way of protest and responding to society. And often at protests, people would be chanting or singing. Sometimes they rhyme, sometimes they don't, but it's always been a vehicle for us to kind of help um, activate change. Next up, we're going to be looking at some images and they're gonna help us be inspired and write some lyrics down and start to formulate our songs. So, you could either do this on an instrument, so making either a little guitar riff in response to the picture or playing a chord that is the feeling of the picture, or if you're more of a lyricist, then in that minute you're just going to be writing down words and phrases that the picture makes you think of. So you've got one minute and here is picture one.
cool. So now pause the video and share any words, phrases or music that was created from just looking at that picture. Okay, again, one minute on the clock, picture two. Pause the video and share your reflections. Last picture, picture three. Fab. So we should now have quite a lot of material that we've generated either verbally or written down or even musically if you chose to play an instrument in the last exercise. Now I want you to pick one of those and form that into a verse. So it could be using a rhyming scheme, using either the first and the second lines rhyming and then the third and the fourth, or you could have one and three rhyming or two and four rhyming, or it doesn't have to rhyme at all. But ideally, I'd like you to pick one of those topics, so either your persuasive argument or any of those pictures, and start to write a verse. So that can be at least four lines, and if you've got more, then go for it. So pause the video and get writing a verse. Okay, so I hope your verses are starting to come together. Don't worry if they're just really in the formulative stage, they can be changed or altered at any time. Remember, you are the creator of it, so if you wake up tomorrow with a new idea, you can add and change it. So thanks for having me today. I hope you're feeling inspired and creative and starting to write your songs or spoken word pieces or raps, whatever you decide to turn those words into. Um, I'd love to hear them hopefully in the future if that's possible um, but in the meantime stay safe and I hope you're all well wherever you are. Thank you, bye!